What's up guys, it's your boy Zani the Greatest and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new and I got some details, uh, basically a DLC review, just a rundown basically of what happened this weekend or what is going to happen this weekend for the new festival universes, the new 7th year anniversary of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So if you're excited for new Xenoverse 2, hit that like button. Let's go ahead and get this video to like 7 likes for the 7th year anniversary. anniversary. How about that? And 7 Dragon Balls, how about that? Haha. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we got is the new transport shop icon, icon or whatever. Tra I say I say transport shop. I've been calling it transport shop. It's really transfer shop clerk. And as you can see, the icon is now changed. Uh, it used to be like Greetings. I forgot what it used to be before. Obviously, it's something completely different. Uh, that's just a little small minute change there. And um, I don't know why they changed it, but they changed it. And so that's that's that. And so now on the actual customization part or like the menu and the accessibility as you can see in the top right corner there you can now level up from 100 to 120 by talking to Whis. yes if you go to talk to Whis, wherever he is in the bamboo forest patrol academy and make him your instructor or whatever and train him all that good stuff um i think you have to have his friendship level up i'm not sure you just go and get what is known as a parfait right you want to get a parfait and for his hungry self <laughs> you know he's always eating and yeah, you give that to him, and he basically just, that, that's it. It's like talking to a guru. He just gives you the level cap, and, and that's that for that. And on to the accessibility part of the actual DLC. You actually see, as you can see here, actually, I'm going to get into that soon. You can see the new uh, uniforms for when you pick your universe. But aside from that, you can now sort your equipment by rarity, health, key, stamina, basic attack, strike supers, key blast supers, you can even like do ascending versus descending. This works very good for QQ bangs. If you're trying to spy, find a specific QQ bang, you can sort it by rarity or, uh, you know, oh no, what it what it does most, sorry. And basic attacks and stuff like that. And this one you can do by rarity and all that good stuff. So yeah, I actually like those little simple changes that they added in the DLC. The DLC was actually good for not only just like the content in terms of like cosmetics and, you know, characters or whatever. It actually changed some stuff in the game when it comes to accessibility. And so when you get into the actual options part we get a lobby item settings this is another small change but they changed the name of it and um gave it a new name this is also where you get auras in the game again i got to talk about that when it comes to festival universes auras are now in the game guys we get auras in the lobby when we go around that's a cool cool update so just from that first section that was actually a, a lot i, I ain't gonna lie that would have been a free update normally for when it comes to like just regular xenoverse that would have been just like a regular up free update, but they added that on other along with other content as well. And so we're gonna get into that next. As you can see over here, um, stopping me. As you can see over here, I'm gonna be um, showing some B-roll. You get to talk to Jiren. Go talk to Jiren, and you now unlock Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct is now in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, guys. This is actually crazy. Ultra Instinct is in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I'm actually going to be giving you guys the rundown of what it does here. Unlock your true potential and awaken a power beyond that of a god. Consume stamina to automatically dodge attack. Use X after dodging to counterattack. And use triangle while guarding to charge key. Your normal and charge key blasts are improved as well. Alright, so it doesn't include... I don't think it gives you a big buff on your basic attacks or anything like that. But your normal and charge key blasts... I don't think it does more damage, but it, I think it gives you like a, a nice little buff. I'm not sure how. Um, I think, it, you know, it says it's improved. So I, I'm guessing it gives you a slight buff, you know, in terms of what it does. So, yeah, that, that's what Ultra Instinct does. It's basically, like I said, a defense type of Awoken. That's what I said. It's to counteract Beast. I feel like this is to counteract Beast because Beast has no defense. It has more offense. So I feel like that's what it is to counteract that. And it's actually a pretty cool Awoken. It's not overpowered. It's one of the first Awokens that are actually that's actually great, but it isn't overpowered. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like it's overpowered. Yeah, you got the dodge mechanic, but hey, I mean, sure, people can use it to be overpowered. But hey, I don't think it's overpowered. I really don't think it's overpowered. But now we're going to get on into the last part of the section, and that's the universe lobby reception. Oh, sorry. Not the last part. This is the second to last part. But the universe lobby set reception. Greetings. Here, you get to go in here. You can choose your universe from the time you get in or, like, you know, when you get in there. 
but you can choose universe 6 universe 7 or 11 i chose universe 7 so i'm going to my universe the best universe top i'll get out of my universe <laughs> But here is the festival universe. I did a short review on this in a previous video, but just to recap everything, when we get to the festival of universes, this is where you actually register for your team. You can view your universe team. You can view the bonuses that are added that week. There is a schedule. So as you can see, the first one is on the 15th, which is a couple days from now. So where I will be covering that, giving my reaction, playing it, seeing what how you actually wrap up, rack up the points and all that good stuff. And you actually can check out the rewards. You get, they have weekly rewards, right? As well as overall rewards you get. And as you can see here, you get the rank, the aura, S S G S S or S S blue aura. Sorry, I don't know if they were talking and you couldn't hear me, but yeah. <laughs> this is the aura for the game and all that good stuff. And you get 750 TP medals. All these TP medals are going to ne be needed to level up your character because it's like 200. If you want to use Tasak to level from 100 to 120, it's 200. 200 TP medals. Power Unleashed. Look, we get all these stuff for the reward. So I, I think this was just a big update for people to have access to get or chance to get more rewards. Now you can see with the Statue of Beerus, Right here, right here. This is just a whole new section. This reminds me of Toki Toki and Kanton City if they like had a baby or something. <laughs> As you can see over here, we got 1v1s, unlimited and um, limited. And then we got parallel quests, we got cross versus, we got expert missions, we got raid quests. Then 1v1s are finna go sh stupid. I bet you this is gonna have more points if you win too. So I, yeah, then 1v1s rack up the best universe. We got the best universe uh, players in their, in their universes. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as you can see, we have more. You can actually access the lobby. You just can't access anything when you actually Greetings. tap it. It says, sorry, registration is closed. So when it's open on the 15th, definitely be getting on that soon, soon, soon. So now that we got that covered, I'm going to be covering the last thing on this Greetings. list. And that's the cross versus. All right. When you get into the cross versus, it actually gives you a... Um, a chance to incorporate all styles, I guess. Now, I'm just gonna be dropping the trailer here because I'm not gonna lie, it, it it takes a while to get into the cross versus right now. I'm not sure if either nobody's really playing it, but I tried 10 times to get into a game. Couldn't get into a game, but I got into a couple. And uh, I have to say like, well, not a couple, I got into one before it like disconnected. And I gotta say the new matchmaking lobby has also changed. So now this is the new Toki Toki, uh, not the new, but the new lobby for matchmaking continued forward. But it's the old Toki Toki City. If you guys played Xenoverse um, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse One, it's the old Toki Toki City, uh, the part where you go before you get into all like the you know the matchmaking, all that good stuff. And it's really nostalgic. It's really cool. So now that's the actual lobby now. So it's not just waiting in a whole screen. You actually go to a lobby. You can change your skills there and all that good stuff too, and your costumes and stuff. So you can actually like you know go in and out and not have to back out of the game. And, oh, let me get my other character. <laughs> But yeah, that's really it. So I hope you guys like this video. This is a little breakdown. Now, final review on the DLC is a solid 7 out of 10. Um, although this DLC was great for what it was when it comes to, like, getting new players in and all that good stuff. Uh, I will say it was kind of underwhelming when it comes to just, I guess, like, the cross versus and stuff. It, it, it's cool. It's nice. It's great to have something new. But I don't think it's, like, groundbreaking or anything. It's not something that's to be hyped up too much, but it's great. It is great. It's good. It's something that'll hold us over for a good couple months or a good few months. And um, there have more content coming, so this DLC technically is not over. It's just the free part of it, right? So um, I definitely give this a 7 out of 10. A really, 8 out of 10, if you will. I think I'll up it just just because I love Xenoverse. 8 out of 10. Just love this game, man. I, I really just love it. No matter how what rating the DLCs are, every DLC I, I have. And so... Um, whether it's good or bad, I actually, I'm, I'm with this game through thick and thin. So, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're going to have some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content. Peace.